Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature of Oracle integration, which is our bag or resource-based access control in integration project. This is a long awaiting feature that everybody is looking for. Now, this has been released in Oracle integration three, and that will be there in only and only in integration three, not in integration two, because project is supported in Oracle integration three only. So let's understand and see how this resource-based access control works in integration project. So what RBAC is? So resource-based access control is just like to restrict the resources from accessing from someone else based on its role responsibility. So to use that RBAC feature, you have to be on version 23.06. So starting 23.06, you can control your integration resources, who can edit, who can view, and who can monitor your project resources. That is complete control of your project resources. Now, you would like to have a project under project, you will create multiple resources such as connections, such as integrations, such as libraries, lookups, and then you will create deployment and there will be a, a, a runtime matrix as well. Now, you would like to control who can update my integration project resources, such as integrations, connections. You can control who can view who can view but cannot update my resources under a project and who can monitor my uh, uh, a metric of that particular project. But that is possible because of that RBAC, which is released in 23.06. And this feature is available only and only in integration, Oracle integration three. As a project owner, so when you create a new project, you will become a project owner by default. But you can assign the project owner, owner to somebody else as well. But along with the project owner, you can define who can add it, who can view, and who can monitor my project resources. So a project owner, you as a project owner, you have complete control who can do what under your projects. This is how that option looks like. So in project, you will have an option called share. And when you click on a share option, you will see the multiple, uh, we can say the controls, like who will be the owner, who will be the editor, who will be the viewer, and who will be the monitor. So you can assign a group or you can assign a single user to control your project resources. So what are the capabilities that you will find out in, in our pack? So the first thing first is project isolation. You can isolate all your projects from different users and from different groups to work in a single Oracle integration instance. For example, you have a single Oracle integration instance and in a single instance, you have multiple kind of groups or users who are intended to create different kind of projects. A project A, A cannot be visible or editable to another set of users. So it's like you are isolating a project within a single Oracle integration instance, and you can only work with your assigned project. So how this works is, so for example, you have a single Oracle integration three instance. In that instance, what do you do? You create a project. And that project A can be distributed along with multiple groups or multiple users, depending on their roles and responsibilities. So for a project A, let's suppose you have a owner. The owner of the project can do everything, meaning they can, they can create any resource such as connections, integrations, lookups. They can create a deployment, they can deploy and they can also monitor. But at the same time, I have a different kind of groups like who can edit my resources. So all the users who, who to whom you provide this edit permission, they can 
update their resources such as connections, integrations, lookups, and libraries. There may be a certain set of users like an auditor who only intended to view your resources. They are not, they are not responsible to create, update, delete anything. They are not able to monitor. They are not able to deploy anything. So they are just the auditors. So you can provide that view permission to them. And the last thing is monitor, meaning a certain set of users, meaning the operations team is only for monitoring. So you can assign that monitor permission to that user so that they can only monitor the resources. Similarly, you can have a project B, not I, again, it's a project B. And then project B, you can have a owner, editor, viewer, and then monitor again. Let me correct it. By, by using that RBAC, you are isolating your project between multiple groups and users. The second thing is restriction. Restriction. Thing is restriction level within a project. So you can assign users and groups to a specific project permission based on the need. So I have a group and that group is only allowed to monitor my runtime instances within a project. I'm not allowing them to monitor uh, other resources inside the different project. So I can restrict. But as a service administrator, a service administrator has all the permissions of all the projects by default, regardless the project permission that you give. For example, you have a user with service administrator role, but you don't assign that user to in any project, but still this user will have access of all the resources of all the project, regardless of the permission. But you have to make, you have to remember one thing, the, the service roles that you give inside the OCI console will take precedence than the permission that you give here. All right. So basically this is how it works. So you may have project A, project B, and then you have a responsibilities like owner, view, editor, and monitor. So you can assign the owner permission to a set of users or groups. Similarly, you can provide edit. So the users and groups cannot, I mean, when you give edit permission, of course they can view as well. But if you give a view, they cannot do other things as well. So for a group who has a only view permission, cannot edit anything, cannot monitor anything. So this is how that restriction works. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.